Welcome to day one of the 12 gifts of Christmas. As you can see, I'm holding the first Christmas gift. You want to see what's inside? Oh, I just love opening presents. All right, let's see what's inside. <laughs> As a kid, I used to just throw the wrapping paper up. All right, it's an Amazon Prime box. I wonder what's inside. Oh, Merry Christmas. Okay, let's see what's in this box. The first gift of Christmas is faith. When we think about Christmas, I want you to think about this story. It comes from Luke chapter number one. There's a priest by the name of Zacharias, and he's married to a woman named Elizabeth. And they have so much going for them that they're godly. They both are following the Lord. Zacharias is a priest and he's serving the Lord. Everything seems to be going well except one thing. They can't have a child. And as Zacharias, as he's serving a special time of serving incense in the temple, his lot came and this is something they got to do once in their career. And all of a sudden the angel Gabriel shows up and he's trying to give Zacharias this, this prophecy. You're going to have a child. And Zacharias is like, I can't. I can't imagine it. I'm, I'm old and my wife's old. And Gabriel realizes that Zacharias is struggling with faith. And over time, his faith develops, but initially, Zacharias has a consequence. He can't talk. And Gabriel's like, in time, you're going to see that this is going to come true, and you should have believed the Word of God delivered through me. And what I want to, what I want to get from this first day is faith that Zacharias struggled initially, but over time his faith grew. And whenever John the Baptist was born, this miracle child that God promised, he regained his ability to speak. And I just wanna give you this, this encouragement that if you have doubt, it sometimes shuts your mouth. When you need to talk, you, you can't, and you're struggling, but whenever you have faith, you speak. And the Bible says, I believe, therefore I spoke. So on this gift one, this first gift of Christmas, it's faith. And then I want to encourage you to believe God this Christmas season. Believe God for the impossible. Believe God for the supernatural. And I want to say a prayer for you that God will spark this gift of faith, that you would believe God that He can do anything this Christmas. Can I pray for you? Father, we learn from this special Christmas passage about Zacharias that he, he doubted initially and he struggled with faith, but eventually his faith grew. And Lord, I want to pray for the special person that's watching this right now, that as their faith may be struggling, that you would increase their faith, that you would help them to believe you for even the impossible. In Jesus' name, amen.